Hello, I have awesome news today, and that is that I found 70 to 90% load time reduction in most levels. And this is not because I wrote awesome code, this is because I had shit code before. So look at this function, get more respawn type. This function here cost almost the entire load time. How? We iterate up till 20. We see if the behavior matches the behavior in the table, and if it does, then that's what we return. So this function decides what Mario does when he spawns. Like, does he do the spin? Is he swimming? Is he flying? Is he shot out of a cannon? That kind of thing. But there was a bug here. Quiz. How many iterations do you think this is at most? If you're a reasonable person, you're gonna say 20. But what GCC compiled here is an unbound loop, meaning this will iterate the entire memory. And in practice, this used to iterate around one megabyte of RAM every single time. Now, why the fuck is that? Well, first of all, let's look at the code here, just so you know I'm not crazy. We load A1, that's the behavior here. We set V1, which is the beginning of the table here. We read the element, we check if it's not equal. If it's not equal, we jump here, increase one, jump back to here, read the element, right? So we jump between these, read element over element, just that one. There's no bound here. And then as soon as they do finally match, we get our behavior from here, v0, return that. So what was going on? Why did GCC decide to just remove the i less than 20 condition here? The reason for that, this is what Rusky told me, what he believes it to be, is that because the s warp behavior spawn table was less than 20 elements, because hey, keep in mind this is terrible code, this is vanilla mar64, it's just a hard 20 bound table. Maybe it was not a hard 20 bound table in Nintendo's original source code, probably not. But when they decompiled it, obviously, whether you set something like, oh, size of warp spawn table or 20, you cannot tell. But the warp spawn table was not 20 elements. So there was undefined behavior. And apparently GCC can be like, oh, if this was actually 20 iterations, we would hit undefined behavior and undefined behavior will never happen. So we're just going to assume that this always hits before we actually reach 20 and optimize out the less than 20 condition. So this bottom card of this was ignored and this was just a wild throw. Now look at the load time improvement here. This is the before in N64. Come on. Almost five seconds. This was the before in Project 64. One, two, three, four. But almost five seconds. They actually match. Now the after on N64. One, two. What? One, two. This is on emulator. Isn't that fucking crazy? So what's the fix? The fix is actually very obvious. You know, you just do the size of thing. And I also started iterating from the ends, just because that's one instruction fast and I'm stupid like that, I want that one instruction. But yeah, uh, very good news, we basically no longer have load time. I'm very happy about that. Maybe now I can use bigger decompression algorithms, because I love using bigger decompression algorithms to get more ROM size, because we actually have quite the issue with ROM size. Um, luckily we're almost done with the game, but... If you look at this, we are at 60 megabytes. We only have 4 megabytes left. Well, that's it. Bye bye.